from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. A Henrico soccer league that's making a difference and how one woman turned $399 into more than $100,000. Tell you about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Thursday, December 21st, 2023, and it's brought to you today by Anchor 619. And now for the news. Soccer has always been a vital part of Hamed Zakiri's life, all the way back to his childhood in Afghanistan and later Iran, where his family fled as refugees from a war torn country. But he had to forge a path on his own. His parents disapproved of his desire to play the sport but when he returned to Afghanistan he ended up playing on the country's under 14 under 16 and under 19 national teams after working for a translator for the US Army he became eligible for a special immigrant visa to the United States and arrived in Henrico in 2014 joining his sister who was already living here his love for soccer has never waned and several years ago Zakiri helped create a new soccer league called ARIA, RVAFC. Initially, it began primarily for other Afghan refugees, but today the club has about 100 players across five teams from the under 10 to the under 16 levels, children and teens whose families have come from all over the world to Henrico. Zakiri also has made it his mission to allow anyone who wants to play in the league to do so, while popular youth clubs charge as much as $2,600 per season Arya charges just $40 per month. And today on HenricoCitizen.com, we bring you Zakiri's story and that of his soccer league. It's a story you will not want to miss. You can find it right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. Virginia State Senator-elect Skyler Van Valkenburg and Delegate Rodney Willett have introduced legislation designed to strengthen the state's child firearm access law and incentivize the safe storage of firearms by holding irresponsible gun owners accountable when a minor uses their firearms to commit a crime, hurt themselves or hurt others, or brings the firearm to a school. The identical House and Senate bills would impose a Class 1 misdemeanor for a firearm owner if a minor uses a firearm to commit a crime, brings one to school, or intentionally or with gross negligence causes bodily injury or harm to themselves or another. The bill also makes it a felony if the firearm owner knows or reasonably should have known that the child within close proximity to the firearm has been charged, convicted, or adjudicated of a violent crime or the subject of a school-initiated threat assessment where the threat is moderate, high, or eminent. We've got details about this proposed legislation right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. And also on our website today, a story from our partners at WTVR Channel 6 about one Henrico woman who purchased a vase for $3.99 at a Goodwill store then sold it for more than $100,000 at auction. Not a bad way to pay for some Christmas gifts. You'll find that story right now on our website. And if you're like many Virginians, you may be unaware of some recently passed state and federal laws that are designed to promote health insurance and hospital price transparency and protect patients and families. To address that information gap, the Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association is launching its Control Your Care public awareness campaign to ensure that patients and families know their rights and to help them make informed medical decisions. The campaign includes a website, controlyourcare.com, that has information about consumer-focused health care reforms, as well as links to state and federal laws and descriptions of what they do. For example, a law passed in recent years by the General Assembly and by U.S. Congress in 2016 requires hospitals to provide a good faith price estimate to patients undergoing elective procedures or tests at hospitals upon request and at least three days prior to the service. There's also a 2020 law that protects patients from surprise medical bills when they get care from an out-of-network doctor at an in-network facility during emergencies and some emergencies. You can read more about all this right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. The Veranda Ruritan Club last weekend sponsored its annual Big Toy Christmas Parade, which featured more than 60 entries. It all raised money for the Henrico Christmas Mother Program. 
The event took place along Osborne Turnpike in Verina, ending at Osborne Landing. The club later donated a check in the amount of $2,775 to the Christmas Mother program. And an opportunity for some young basketball players on January 5th, the last day of Henrico County Public Schools winter break. Youngsters who are between the ages of 8 and 12 are invited to attend the Shooting Stars Youth Basketball Day at the new Henrico Sports and Events Center in Glen Allen. It'll take place from 8.30 to 2 p.m. and participants will have the chance to play in the new arena, receive coaching, and also participate in drills and a three-on-three -three tournament. Everyone also will receive lunch and a basketball to take home. Registration is $25 per child. We've got a link to that registration site on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. Ready to bring in new business? Anchor 619 is your secret weapon for all things marketing. Founded by a Henrico native who has spent the last five years consulting businesses at Facebook, the founder is bringing her team's unparalleled expertise right here back to Henrico. Visit Anchor619.com today to secure a branding, public relations, or paid media strategy session for just $250. Don't wait to get started. Sign up at Anchor619.com today.